Hi, this is Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm sharing a birthday tag with you that will also hold a gift card. I'm going to be using some Memento London Fog, the Lawn Fawn Bake Me a Cake stamp set, the Large Tag Album from Graphic 45, my Tim Holtz Distress Markers, and some Ranger Watercolor Paper. I'm using a stamp pad underneath to help me get a better impression. And now I'm stamping out each layer of cake. There's five layers of cake, and I'm going to stamp them out twice to make a very tall, wonky looking cake. I am using the Memento London Fog because it does not run when you use water with it, which I plan to do. You will see though that I do go over it with some black ink in the end because I want a very distinct looking edge of my cake. So um, the memento is more as a guide right now for me to color it in. I am trying to decide what colors I want to use and I'm using some simple story paper that you see there in the background, the polka dot paper. So I'm matching my colors to that paper. I'm pulling out colors that I think will match well. And I actually found a great selection and they do match very well with the Simple Stories. The Simple Stories is somewhat of a distress looking paper as well. So they end up matching very well. I do quickly in this video show you what colors I'm using. However, for a full list, please check out Cut at Home's blog. I'll have each color listed on what I used. And I start out with a, a small paintbrush here, dipping it in water, but I do switch to my watercolor uh, brush here in a moment. It's just a little bit bigger and I, I thought it worked a little bit better. So I will go ahead and continue to color these in and I'll be right back. Now here is where I am going to go over all of the cakes with VersaFine Black. Like I said, I do want a better um, impression than the Memento London Fog was giving me. If I had a, a black Memento in black, I would have used that, but I don't. So again, I just used that as a guide and then went back and these stamp sets are so easy to match up. And off camera, I cut out all of those cake layers. So here I'm just tracing the paper that I want on the front and back of my tag. And I will also trace out that center hole and use a one half inch EK Success hole punch to punch that out. Using Angel Craft Podge to glue it down. This is a great adhesive to use. I will just brush that all over the tag and place my tag down and just kind of press it down to make sure it's adhered well. And I will do the same to the back side as well. 
I love that this angel craft dries very fast. I also love that I don't have to, it comes with a brush. Sometimes if I'm doing a large project, I'll use my own brush, a very large brush, but this brush generally works for almost everything that I use. And then I don't have to worry about going, stopping and, and cleaning it out. So here I cut out some balloons from the Silhouette online store and I wanted the balloons to match my paper. So I'm using the same distress markers and just coloring them in. There's going to be three layers to the balloons. So the first and second layer I'm doing a dark coat of whatever color distress marking marker I'm using and then the second layer I'm doing a lighter coat so it's a tone on tone and they end up matching perfect with the paper line using some vintage photo I'm distressing the edges of my tag on both sides now I'm going to stack my cakes as you can see I cut them out but I did leave a little edge on the bottom and you'll see why here in a moment it's so I can stack them on each other and tilt them a little and there's something to grab onto you don't have to do that I could have glued them directly onto my tag but um, I thought it was easier I'm stamping some scribbly lines or um, swirls on the cake I love that this stamp set gives you so many options of how you want to decorate your cake. So I'm stamping directly onto the tag my cake plate and then I will color that in with one of the distress markers. And the first layer of the cake I glue all the way down but I come to realize quickly that I meant to um, tuck the second one behind it, which in the end it was no big deal because I just kind of peeled it up a little and then was still able to tuck it behind it slightly. So now I'm going to assemble the rest of my cake off the tag and then once I do that I will then glue it to the tag. This allows me to kind of not make it perfectly straight. Now I'm just deciding that's another option that they give you in the stamp set is they have single candles and um, they also have multiple candles. So I decided to just stamp out a few of these single candles and there's two different kinds and I stamp two different kinds. I've never stamped some of them before, so I'm stamping them off first on a scrap piece of paper just to make sure there's no residue on the stamp before I put it directly on my project. And now I'm gluing together the layers of the balloons. I'll have all the um, silhouette design numbers also listed on Cut at Home's blog if you're interested. I'm adding some baker's twines from a banker, baker's twine, excuse me, from American Crafts for the balloons. And one of these balloons I'm here adhering directly to the tag using some angel craft tape. The other two I pop up off the tag. And I'm also using two different sizes of foam tape. One of them is taller, so the red balloon I want to pop up a little bit higher off the card than the yellow one. So the yellow one I'm using some Stampin' Up um, foam and it, it's a little bit thinner than the other kind that I used. So now I'm just tying a bow to my balloons 
and I have a large bow that I cut out quite a while ago that I will add to the top. I want to add the sentiment happy birthday from the stamp set. So I'm pulling out one of the labels 40 dies. And again, instead of trying to find a paper that matched, I'm just coloring out some of the markers and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. So I actually stamped them both and cut them both out and decide at that point which one I'll use. So I'm using the smallest die from the labels 40 Spellbinders to cut that out. Here there's a little star in the stamp set, so I'm just using my markers, adding a little color and stamping several of the stars around the tag. Quick and simple to do, it really turned out cute might be a little hard to see right now. I'm adding a little bit of tape so when I run it through my Sizzix, I know that it'll cut exactly where I need it to. And I really like that one there, so I go with the bluish green one. Again, I'll have the um, colors listed on the blog. Added some foam tape to that as well. And now I want to work on the back side. I noticed that my balloons are still white on the back side, so I just colored them in with the same color of marker that matches. I'm using a little scrap piece of paper, the same paper as on the front, and I'm making a little pocket. So I'm just marking it where I need to score it. I'm using my stylus from the Heartfelt Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit and I'm just marking it where I have my pencil lines and then I'm also marking in about a half inch on the bottom and now I will cut out from corner to corner so when I fold this up it alleviates some of the bulk that would normally be in there. I will also angle the top of the tag as well which you'll see in a moment here and now to match it I'm going around with the vintage photo as well. And now I will just simply use some angel craft tape, adhere that on, and then that will hold my gift card in place. I'm putting a um, piece of non-sticky, it comes in with my glue, just to make sure I don't get any hot glue on the tag itself and glue it down. That way I could add a row of flat back pearls to the top of my pocket. And now I realize I want something for a sentiment to be able to write my sentiment on. So I'm cutting out a larger tag from that same labels 40 Spellbinders die. And I will slip that in the pocket as well. And then that way I can write my sentiment on that. And now I am simply adding my bow to it, and that's all there was to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Please check out Cut at Home's blog. All the details and product codes will be listed. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.